Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back. If you guys are new here, it's very nice to meet you. I hope that you guys are doing well. Hope y'all are taking care of yourselves. So today's pick a card, you guys, is going to be pick a card on how is your future partner going to be treating you. So without further ado, you guys, I hope you are excited. I'm excited. The piles were really, really cute. So I hope you guys are excited. Without further ado, here's a clip of the piles right now. All right, you guys, so these are the four piles. We have group number one with the red moon, or the red moon, so the red calcite, the red calcite babe. Group number two with the skeleton key. Group number three with the marble egg. And group number four with the black moonstone. If you guys need a moment to meditate on which pile is calling your name, you guys are free to do that right now. And if you want to pick more than one pile, you guys are always welcome to do so. All right, so now that you guys have picked your pile, please go ahead and check out my description box where I left you guys timestamps for when your reading will start. And with that, let's go ahead and jump into today's pick a card. Hello, group number one. Let's go ahead and get started with today's dice roll. We have Capricornic and Scorpionic energy going on. Sun, moon, rising, your sign, their sign. Libra and, um, again, Scorpio. Hello, Scorpio. Pisces and Aries. Pisces and Aries. One more. <laughs> Aries and Capricorn. Okay. So starting off, you guys, with your first tarot card, we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is indicating for me that this person is going to treat you as if you are their fortune. This person is going to be treating you as if, like, they feel very lucky to be with you. Um, I don't know if what I'm about to say is offensive. It may be a little bit offensive, okay? Okay maybe a little bit and I'm not trying to be offensive you guys I'm just trying to explain the card um but the way I'm kind of seeing this it's like why would they date me you know what I'm saying like I feel like that's how this person is almost going to treat you like why would she date me why would he date me like what like I don't want to I don't like the whole idea of like oh dating out of your league because to me if people vibe then they vibe and physical attraction is kind of just like a you know it's nice but it's not I don't know you guys physical attraction fades and like it's not everything that people make it seem it's really really not so with this it just makes me feel like this person is treating you almost as if like are you sure you want to date me are you sure you want to be with me like are you sure because like how did i get this lucky why would this person want to be with someone like me i feel very lucky i feel honored right so I love that. The next one we have here is the Ace of Cups. Now the Ace of Cups, you guys, talks about an overflow of emotion. This is like regurgitating emotions. This is like quite literally someone who is just gushing over you. Someone who is doting on you, gushing all over you. Um, this feels like someone who's very lovey dovey wubby okay someone who's gonna call you cute little nicknames someone who's gonna pamper you someone who's gonna dote on you it just feels like someone who's very lovey okay someone who's going to get very emotional this person may not be afraid to cry in front of you or to share their emotions to bear their heart to you so cute 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 um the next one we have here is the eight of wands this is indicating to me that this person is developing feelings for you guys rather quickly because the eight of wands talks about something moving very fast a, a rapid pace so is it possible that something else is moving fast yeah but how is it that they're going to treat you like to me the only way that i can perceive this is them developing feelings very quickly maybe this is them talking about wanting to move around with you or wanting to like do physical activities with you because again movement momentum forward maybe they're talking about planning a future with you but i'm getting more so of this person developing feelings rather quickly with you guys so that's what i got with those cards thus far the next one we have here is the ruler of wands and here's the thing I have a very complex relationship with this card because I love him and I hate him. And I feel like that is the energy that he gives off. Somebody who's very charismatic and charming, almost too charming. You know what I'm saying? Almost someone who's a little too like, you're just too charming. You know, it's kind of annoying, but it's endearing at the same time. This person is someone who maybe uh, you perceive them as very physically attractive. This person may also be somebody who's kind of like, I don't want to say the life of the party, but someone who can stand their own and somebody where when they walk into a room, they bring a power and a presence with them. Okay. People take notice when this person walks in and I'm not saying necessarily because of their physical appearance, but mainly because of the energy that they are bringing with them. 
Um, this is also somebody who's ambitious, somebody who's powerful, someone who's like, you know, this may also be somebody who's more mature because it is a king, it is a ruler. So there is that. The first oracle card we have here is, I had to make sure there was no nudies on here. Okay. <laughs> the first oracle card we have here, you guys, is when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Okay, so this person may be somebody, you guys, where their whole goal in the relationship is just to build beautiful memories with you, right? So they're going to treat you to nice dinners, maybe to nice vacations. Maybe they're going to treat you to special holidays or just special time together. Maybe there's someone who is going to take their time to like plan a really cute date, go gaze up on the stars. Maybe um, they take time to just do cute things for you guys, right? Things that are memorable, things that build memories. So that's what I got with this, you guys. Sorry, I did go and change. I'm on my moon cycle. I know TMI, I'm so sorry. But like, I just felt stuffy and like not comfy. So like, we're comfy now. Anyways, so love that for them. The next card we have here is you make me want to be a better person. So this person may treat you as their inspiration, you guys. I don't know if this person is an artist, but you may be a muse for them. And I'm not trying to over romanticize this situation, but like, even if they're not an artist, I just feel like there is something about you that inspires this person to try harder or to be better, maybe even to look at the world differently. So there is Lance. There's so much I want to tell you. So I do feel like this person is going to treat you like their best friend. This person's going to treat you like someone that they really do love and respect. I don't feel like your next partner, your next spouse, your next whoever is going to treat you with disrespect or going to treat you like you are less than. I feel like this person sees you as someone who is very valuable to them, someone who is their best friend, someone who they do, they care about your opinion, they care about what you think, and they're not gonna just disregard you. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm getting with that. Like, there's so much I want to tell you. Like, I tell you everything. We share everything together. Your opinion matters so much to me. Uh, the next one we have here is happiness. And it says, I would always rather be happy than dignified. Okay, so I love this because I feel like what this is saying is like, I rather be happy than dignified. I rather be happy than look good. I rather be happy than care what outside influences think. Like I love you so much that I don't care what anybody else thinks. I don't care if they approve, if they disapprove, if they think I'm being stupid, like I'm in love and I'd rather be happy than for people to, I don't know, view me in a particular light, which I love this personally. I know for me, I'm someone where I rather be happy than you know, have something look good on paper. You know, that's just me personally though. So uh, the next one we have here is soulmate. And it says there could have been no two hearts so open, no taste so similar, no feeling so in unison. Soulmate. Okay, so I'm not saying this person's your soulmate, but okay. Um, it's very possible, you guys, that this person is someone who's going to see you as a soulmate or as a long-term partner. Now, the re what I'm getting with this whole reading, you guys, this person is really sweet. This person's going to treat you like an absolute gem, okay? They're going to treat you like royalty. They're going to treat you like you are a god, like you are a goddess. This person values you. That's what this whole reading for me is screaming. Like, I value you. I'm not going to take advantage of the relationship. I'm not going to take advantage of you and your kindness and how great you are. Like, I'm going to, how they are in the beginning, that's what it is. You guys know when people, when you start dating someone and they treat you really nice and they're really sweet and caring and doting and like all that, I feel like this person is going to put forth that effort throughout the relationship. Like they're not just going to uh, take you for granted or get comfortable so much in the relationship to the point where they're just like, oh, I'm just going to stop caring or stop trying. Like I feel like this person's always trying to put their best foot forward with you. The next one we have here is the moon. This is connected to cancer energy. This is uh, intuition and changeable. So with this card, you guys, what this is telling me is basically this person has very deep emotions for you. The moon is connected to emotions, psychic abilities. Um, so yeah, that's very cute. Their moon sign may have popped up in the dice earlier. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned you guys, but with the ruler of wands that is connected to all the fire signs, so Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, uh, Sean, there's that. We have the first house of self and appearance. The first house is basically the house that you present yourself, like you 
put forth to the world um the first house so i feel like this is talking about this person being very physically attracted to you this person looking at you as like an attractive person which makes sense because you guys are dating that just makes sense to me you know <laughs> i don't know if it makes sense to you but it makes sense to me okay so the next two cards we have here is you belong to me so i find that interesting you guys now nothing about this person is giving me like possessive energy or energy of like you know but i'm feeling like this person's more so saying like i feel like we are a perfect match this person may see you as like another version of themselves and maybe that's why they have so much respect and love for you because they see you as another version of who it is that they are you guys may have a lot in common I feel alive when we kiss oh wait that's so cute okay so I feel alive when we kiss you guys again physical chemistry physical passion I love this for you guys okay I feel alive when we kiss that's very sweet <laughs> I'm starting to understand our connection. Okay, so this person is starting to look at this connection or is going to look at this connection as a big picture um, situation. I don't feel like they're looking at this in the short term. I don't feel like this relationship, it's not their intentions in this relationship to do it for the short term. It's not their intentions in the relationship to take their time or to like, uh, only look to the next like six months like this person is looking at your guys's relationship at the at the big picture level right this person may feel like they have like a mission with you or this person may feel like they have a bigger purpose with you um i uh i wish i could share my good news with you so again you guys this person's going to treat you like their best friend you're the first call when they have good news you're their first call when they have bad news this person is going to really lean on you as a support system and i feel like you are also going to lean on them you guys are going to share a bond that is so much deeper than like the physical connection or the physicality of relationships you guys are truly going to be sharing a friendship together you guys are truly going to have a relationship that's beyond the romantic sense and there's so much respect here like i feel like that's like something that really keeps jumping out at me is like there's so much respect here and there's so much like i feel like even if you guys do end up like separating or if there is any type of like tension in the relationship i feel like there's still this really strong foundation of respect and like i care about you and even though i'm mad at you right now like i'm not going to be disrespectful or i'm not going to do anything to like hurt you purposefully right all right and the last one i have here is getting to know each other and it says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens okay so this person wants to know everything about you and i feel like they're going to take their time to really get to know you and to really understand who it is that you are on an emotional level again i don't feel like this person is necessarily hyper focused on your guys's physical chemistry or the physicality of it all i feel like this person is more so interested in the intimate parts of you this person wants to know things that you don't tell other people this person wants to know all your deepest darkest secrets this person wants to see you on a deep intimate level and not on that surface level so if you guys aren't looking for a serious emotional relationship this person may not be the person for you because i do feel like this person is going to treat you as their best friend they're going to treat you as someone who know they like they, they want you to know everything about them and they want to know everything about you like they don't just want it to be this you know what i'm saying and there is physical attraction here you guys that did pop up a couple of times in the reading but i feel like the main point of this whole thing is is like i value you so much and i treasure you as a human being and i see you for who it is that you are and i love you for who it is that you are and i don't feel like they're necessarily someone who is ever going to want to disrespect you okay so that's what i got for the cards i'm gonna go ahead now and pull some little notes for you guys really quick and we're not doing letters today. We're just going to do the notes. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. So exotic, you guys may be of different races or different ethnic backgrounds. Okay. We also have happy-go-lucky, you guys. So this person may treat you like they're happy to be around you all the time. Like they're excited to be around you all the time. They're not going to be mopey and like sad. We have working on myself. So this person may be encouraging you guys to work on yourselves, to better yourself, to do things for yourself. 
we have January, which this is going up in January. Maybe this is your birthday. Maybe this is their birthday. Maybe you guys are meeting this month. We have a birthmark slash mole. So maybe you have a birthmark or mole on your body or on your face that they really think is beautiful. We have far away. This could indicate you guys this relationship coming into um, fruition off in the future. This could also be signifying long distance though. We have straight lace. So I don't know if you don't drink or if they don't drink, but straight lace um, indicates somebody who like doesn't do any, like doesn't partake in adult beverages or other substances. Okay, so yeah. Starting over. Okay, so this person is going to be somebody who is new. This person may feel like you are their fresh start or you are their chance to like do things right. Oh, we have an oval. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I can't pick this one up. We have an oval shaped face. Okay, which if y'all didn't know, the oval shaped face is the most perfect shaped face according to science. Um, we have annoyingly attractive and we have rare, which going back to that wheel of fortune, you guys make sense. Oh, my throat. Mm -hmm. Oh, Okay, group number one. So that is what I have for you guys. Please let me know below how this has resonated. Let me know if you guys are excited. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll talk to you really soon. Okay, bye. Hello, group number two. This is like my third time changing in today's video. I just couldn't get comfy. I've just been like, I don't feel good. I don't feel, you guys know those days where you just feel like a freaking gremlin. I feel like a gremlin today. So if I change 10 more times throughout this reading, I'm sorry. Anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get started with your Zodiac dice. We have Gemini and we have... Who is this? This is Scorpio. <laughs> we have Gemini and Scorpio. Scorpio, I literally am obsessed with you, so like, I'm sorry. I know your sign. I just... We have Capricorn and we have Virgo. Hello, Capricorn. Hello, Virgo. Hello, hello. Virgo, Capricorn. Pisces. Okay. Aries and Leo. Hello, Aries. Hello, Leo. Okay. <sighs> Moving on to the cards. We have the Seeker of Coins. The Seeker of Coins, you guys, is the Knight of Coins. The Seeker of Coins is somebody who is stable. Okay, so this person, the Seeker of Coin. Okay, so because this is how they're going to treat you. I feel like this person is going to be very consistent with you guys, okay? Um, I feel like this person is going to be very level-headed or very, yeah, I guess consistent is the best word I can think of to like give this card in regards to how this person's going to treat you. It would be consistency. This relationship may move a little bit slow, you guys, because the Seeker of Coins is someone who tends to move a little bit slowly. I'm kind of seeing this as like you guys starting out as maybe just friends or starting out with something more casual and then like growing the relationship forward. This person doesn't want to hop into a relationship with someone that's just going to end. If this person gets in a relationship, they're getting in a relationship because they want it to last for the long haul, okay? Um, but this is definitely someone who's consistent, okay? And here's the thing. When I was little, I remember my mom telling me, uh, about my father like at least he is consistently inconsistent yeah and for me that was something that always gave me comfort with people like if i could understand someone's patterns or if i can just understand how somebody is then i become very accepting of their behavior not necessarily on a level where i'm like oh you can treat me like that but on a level where i'm like i can't get mad because that's just who you are that's just how you are that's just how it is right so consistency doesn't always mean that they are always there consistency just means that their behavior isn't changing up right their cycle their patterns are staying the same so keep that in mind you guys okay i'm not saying that this person is going to be consistently there for you or consistently like lovey-dovey or consistently this or consistently that but their patterns are going to be consistent how does it they operate is going to be consistent um that is represented by taurus capricorn and virgo we also have the Seven of Swords. This talks about prioritizing, you guys. This also talks sometimes about someone who is being a little bit fake or someone who is trying to like bamboozle you, all right? So with this, you can take it either way. I like to see this as someone who's trying to prioritize. Do I take this? Do I leave this? 
um, what is important for me to take forward, what is important for me to leave behind. Trimming off the fat, trimming off the unnecessary whatever, okay? So um, this person could be somebody who's really just no BS, right? They don't have time for the bull, they don't have time to mess around, and if, some, if they look at a relationship as unnecessary, they may be very quick to cut it. So the way that this person is going to treat you, they're going to treat you either as a priority or not at like they're going to just stop, right? But because this is like your next partner, I am feeling like they're going to treat you more like somebody who is um, a priority in their life. They're going to treat you as someone who is important and they're going to be like, okay, I prioritize my relationship. Yeah, yeah. Now, do keep in mind, you guys, the other side of that card, again, could be fraudulent energy. So they could be a little sneak sneak. Okay, just keep that in mind. But the main thing I want you to take with that is prioritizing. We also have the Sovereign of Swords. This is the Queen of Swords. So with the Sovereign of Swords, you guys, this is basically someone who uh, isn't going to lie to you. This person is going to be very honest with you. This person is going to be very upfront with you. Um, and omitting information may be some a way that they may get around this because the queen of swords is someone where she's very honest she's very truthful she's very uh you know not about the bs however i don't feel like this person's necessarily going to be someone who this person may be somebody where they're clever enough or they're intellectual, they're smart enough to be able to talk their way out of certain situations. So do keep that in mind with this as well. But basically this person's just always going to give it to you 100%. They're not going to sugar, they're not going to sugarcoat it for you. They're not going to beat around the bush. They're going to be very upfront, honest, and raw. This person feels very sterile and not sterile like they can't have babies, but like very sterile and like, I don't know. I don't want to say business-like, but almost a little bit business-like. I don't know if I'm picking up on like Capricornic energy or if it's, I don't know. Okay, but they just feel very sterile, very like to the point and maybe even a little bit cynical if I'm being honest. Maybe that's why they like to take things a little bit more slowly and they like to prioritize. We have the Eight of Coins, you guys. Now, the Eight of Coins talks about getting to know somebody. The Eight of Coins soins the eight of coins talks about trying to understand someone so again this person's going to take their time to understand you this person's going to treat you like the way that they would treat something that they're trying to learn about so they're not going to just rush into the relationship they're not going to just rush a hundred percent head first into this they're going to take their time to weave and bob and get to know you okay so you know, if you like that, that's good, right? I need something a little bit more hot, a little bit more spicy for me personally. But this feels very mature. feels very grounded and very, very Saturn dad, okay? <laughs> um, all righty. The next or the first oracle card we have here is imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have struggled with like uh, feeling unworthy in relationships or feeling a little bit insecure in relationships. This person may provide a lot of security or a lot of like, you're, you're never going to guess what this person is thinking. You're never going to guess how this person is feeling because they're just going to tell you, right? The reason why I'm getting that, you guys, is number one, the Sovereign of Swords. And number two, the seeker of coins, I just feel like this person is someone where they're very, very grounded, very to the point and very much a matter of fact, like I'm not going to waste your time. I don't want you wasting my time and I'm going to just be 100% honest with you. Even if you don't like what they have to say, this person's not going to hide the truth from you. And even when it's not pretty, I feel like that's going to give you guys a sense of comfort because you're going to always know like what is going on with this person. You're never going to be left guessing do they still care about me? Is this relationship going to work? Like they're always, they're just going to be upfront with you about it. So I feel like that's why this is imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light. They're, you're not going to have to think like, or guess how they're feeling. They're just going to tell you. Uh, 
uh, you are the person of my dream. So this person may see a lot of qualities in you that they really do like or that they really do resonate with you guys, okay? You may be even someone that this person has envisioned being with. This could be talking about your physical body um, just because when I think of like, oh, a person of my dreams, I feel like you, it's hard to, it's hard to put together a whole and complete person in your mind when you're like fantasizing or when you're dreaming of someone, right? Because people are complex. We don't oftentimes when we are dreaming of the person of our dreams, we don't oftentimes see the complexity of the whole person. We don't oftentimes see them as you know, someone who makes mistakes or someone who does things that we don't like. So when this person says, I feel like you're the person of my dreams, I do feel like this is talking more so about the physical body or the characteristics that you guys share in common, okay? I will find my way back to you one day. So you guys may be living at a distance from each other. Um, there may be even a point in the relationship in which you guys take a break, um, not for any bad reason. I feel like oftentimes people always feel like relationships end on bad terms. And I'm someone where I personally had many relationships that didn't end on bad terms, at least not, not on my end. Like I'm not salty about any of my past relationships, but you know, I'm sure there's other people who disagree, but I will find my way back to you. Yes, this could be somebody where you guys end up taking a break and then coming back together. This could also be a situation where, again, there's distance between the two of you. Or perhaps there's like um, a time period in which you guys aren't like officially dating and it takes some time for you guys to get to that point. We have dreams here as well. And it says, I'm afraid to wake myself from this dream. So this person may see you guys as too good to be true or this person may see you guys as someone um, I feel like the honeymoon phase is really going to like discombobulate this person, right? I feel like the honeymoon phase with this particular person is going to make them feel like, um, oh crap, oh dang, I'm falling in love. I better ooh, put pump the brakes because I'm uncomfy, right? So I'm afraid to wake myself from this dreams. I feel like this person may be someone who's gotten hurt in the past. So they're constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop, right? They're constantly waiting for something to go wrong in the relationship because they're afraid of like, losing what they have so yeah that's interesting we also have twin flame here and it says you pierced my soul i am half agony half hope i have loved none but you so the way i like to take twin flame if you guys have been here for a minute twin flame for me is really just saying um we resonate right i feel very connected to your soul your soul feels connected to my soul you guys may have a lot in common as well because obviously the twins i find it interesting that's talking about piercing the soul and a lot of swords have popped up in today's reading so gemini libra and aquarius you know energy in this but um, yeah, you guys may have a lot in common. I feel like this person is a little bit of, I don't want to say a nerd, but maybe a little bit of like a quirky individual, someone who's a little like eccentric. And I feel like you may also be someone who's rather eccentric or you may have like a weird side and you two are going to vibe on that. I feel like, I feel like that's something that they're really going to appreciate about you. We have Capricorn, which makes so much freaking sense, you guys, with this freaking reading because this feels very dad. This feels very Capricorn, very grounded, very like Saturn, okay? Very, very Saturn. This is practical and rigid, yes. That's what this feels like. So this person is going to be very practical with you. They're not going to be the one who's all mushy gushy. They're not going to be the person who's like, we're soulmates. We're going to be together forever. Um, which that's my kind of person. Okay. I'm, I'm more for that, but, but this person's going to be practical with you and realistic with you and more like, okay. <laughs> We have the sixth house of health and routines. This makes sense, you guys. So this person is going to get into a routine with you and they're going to get very comfortable in a routine with you, which is interesting because that's what I was saying with the coin of the seeker of coins, consistency. This person's going to treat you very consistently. How it is that they treat you is how they're going to consistently treat you. So if you don't like how they're treating you, they're going to consistently treat you like that. So if you don't like it, you got to find someone else skadoodle loop because like they're not going to change i feel like this person's very set in their ways very i don't want to say stubborn because i like to believe that people are capable of change but this person may be a little bit just 
stuck in their ways a little bit, okay? And, you know, that's fine. Live your life. <sighs> I belong to you. Okay. This person may feel like nobody else gets them. This person may feel like very misunderstood for most people, but they feel like you understand them. So that's why this I belong to you is coming up. Um, this may even be something they say when you guys are having your intimate times together. I'm not going to get too much deeper into that, but you guys know, if you know, you know, you can connect the dots, you know, you have a noggin. Um, you're perfect. So again, you're the person in my dreams. You're perfect. This person may see you as someone who's very much in alignment with what it is that they want but again it feels more so on a practical level so i feel like that you are perfect you're the person of my dreams may be a little bit of an over dramatization because this person is someone who is going to treat you in a way that's more practical so yes they may see you as someone who's intellectual they may see you as somebody who's beautiful they may see you as somebody who's handsome and we see somebody who is a perfect match for them, but it's on a practical level, okay, you guys? It's not in this, um, it's not in a way where they're dismissing the fact that you are a multifaceted human being. It's not in a way where they are putting on the rose-colored glasses and saying, ha ha, it's a very, very grounded sense, okay? We have, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay, so again, I do feel like you're kind of rustling and tussling this person's emotional state because this person I feel like is someone who's very used to not getting emotional, to not getting out of sorts, and you are kind of rustling that up a little bit. So this person may stay awake thinking about you late at night. You came closer than anybody else. Again, I do feel like this person is not someone who very easily opens up to people. And for you guys, this person is opening up to you. This person is someone who wants to be 100% with you and they want you to see them for who it is that they are. I feel like this person feels very comfortable with you, okay? The next card we have here is engagement and it says your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment. So we talked about you guys, how this relationship may be very slow moving and progression is what I want you guys to take with this. This person will take steps forward with you, but they will do it in a way that's not impractical. They will do it in a way that's not rushed. They will do it in a way that's not, um, fantastical okay so yeah engagement your love life will be ascending they want to move forward they will treat you in a manner and they will show you that they want to move forward you're not going to have to guess if they want to move forward they're going to show you that okay so i'm going to go ahead and pull some notes Ooh, we have freaky you guys which i think is so interesting oh no oh no I had a note fall into the candle. Okay, um, Freaky. Okay, I'm just gonna pull this and then we'll talk about Freaky, Jesus. Oh my God, that's so much. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna stop then. I'm just gonna stop. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop. Okay. <laughs> so we have masculine here, which Capricorn popped up and I'm not saying Capricorn is, you know, the end all be all of masculinity. However, okay. We have kindred spirits. So you two may be kindred spirits. We have lovely. We have I miss you. We have a roller coaster, which I don't think that this relationship at all is going to be a roller coaster. Again, it feels very consistent. It feels very like consistent. But with this roller coaster, what I feel like this is talking about is you making this person feel emotionally like they are on a roller coaster because again, I don't feel like they're used to being in a situation where they are opened up emotionally. We have July, this could be your birthday or their birthday, the month you guys meet. We also have March, again, your birthday, their birthday, the month you guys meet. The wax that fell or the note that fell into the wax is June. So June, July, and March are really significant for this group. We also have a yeet. So perhaps there are things that they have to get rid of in order to make room for you in their life. We have Earth, which is Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. We have Future, you guys, which the last card was Engagement. Again, this person is willing to move forward with you, okay? And when they want to move forward, they will let you know. 
There's passion here, and we also have freaky here. I feel like this person is an undercover freak or an undercover, like, really passionate person, but when you meet them, you're not going to get that vibe. You're not going to be like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they're under, it's like, it's very subdued. It's very, like, in the dark of the night, okay? We have straight hair. We have nerdy slash quirky, which, yes, this person gives me very eccentric vibes, which is my personal favorite. Like, I love a little bit of a nerd. Um, we have unique hair as well. We have the extra. So perhaps this person's just appreciating you for who it is that you are. And then we have a cutie. Okay, you guys. Okay. So that is what I have for you guys, group number two. Overall, this is a practical relationship, but at the same time, you are bringing out or you are invoking emotions in this person that I feel like they haven't felt for a long time. Um, and when this person is ready to take steps forward with you, they will let you know. There's a lot of consistency here with this person and a lot of practicality, okay? This person's very Saturn, very dad, very Capricornic, okay? Um, that's just their energy. If they're not a Capricorn, they just feel very, like, very dad, okay? So, that's what I got for you guys. Thank you guys so much. Let me down below if you're excited or if you know who this person is. Thank you. I love you, and I'll talk to you very soon. All right, bye. Hello, group number three. Welcome to your guys' reading. I'm going to go ahead, you guys, and get started with the Zodiac Dice. We have Aquarius, and just Aquarius, okay? Just Aquarius. Cancer and Capricorn, mom and dad, hello. Scorpio and Taurus, okay, sister signs pull through, all right. Taurus and Aries, Taurus and Aries, you guys. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, your sign, their sign, you guys. The first card we have here is the Seven of Wands, okay. Group number three, you guys are beautiful, okay? You guys are handsome. You guys are very attractive. You're welcome. Take the compliment. I don't want to hear it in the comment section talking about no. Yes, okay. This person is going to feel very, um, I don't want to say insecure. I don't want to say insecure, but this person may feel a little bit threatened or a little bit like they have to, um, I don't know if you guys have like an ex who's still like in contact with you or who's trying to get in contact with you at this time or if you guys just have people hitting on you or like flirting with you. Maybe you're just someone who attracts a lot of flirtatious behavior but this person's going to feel a little jealous or like they have to defend what it is that they have in the relationship. Like they have to be protective of the relationship, okay? So... There's the act. Um, the next one we have here is the Four of Wands. This talks about a celebration. So this person is going to treat this relationship like something to celebrate. This may also indicate marriage, you guys, because the Four of Wands does signify, does signify marriage. It also signifies um, stability. So a stable relationship. This person is going to treat you with stability. This person is going to treat you with celebration. And this person is going to be a little bit protective of you, okay? The next one we have here is the Sovereign of Coins. Now the Sovereign of Coins, you guys, is talking about somebody who is financially stable or somebody who works really hard to have the finances that they have, whether that is a lot or not. They work hard to have the financial situation that they are in. And they are also somebody who's loving and nurturing and they want to take care of the people around them. So this is the best of both worlds. This is somebody who, you know, they work hard, but they also want to spend that money on the people that they love. They want to financially take care of the people that they love. So this person may be somebody who tries to spoil you with gifts, their love language, maybe like gift giving. So yeah, that's exciting. They may even be someone who like wants to come home and cook you like a nice dinner. I just feel like this person is someone where it's like, I work hard, but I also still want to like spoil you. So that's what I'm getting with the Sovereign of Coins. Okay. We have the ruler of cups. So this is somebody who's more mature and who is emotionally intelligent and emotionally available. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, low key, this person seems kind of perfect to me in my perspective, in perception, my perception would say this person is perfect. There's someone who's protective, okay? The four of wands, I wanna create stability with you. I wanna create a foundation with you. I wanna celebrate this relationship. I wanna marry you potentially, love, okay? 
I work really hard, okay? I make sure that I am financially stable, I'm ambitious, but I also want to make sure that I can come home and take care of you. I wanna make sure that I am there for you. I can be a rock for you. And I'm also emotionally intelligent, okay? And my emotions are important and I have no problem voicing them and I'm not going to lash out at you because I'm hurt. I'm not going to yell and scream. I'm going to talk to you and relay my emotions with stability because I am mature. Okay, perfection. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Water and earth coming together. A, um, there may be a situation here, you guys, where there is like an earth sign and a water sign coming together because we do have that queen of coins and the king of cups. Earth and water are very compatible, so I love that. Um, the next one we have here, you guys, is passion, okay? And it says a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Okay. Person number three is coming in to steal everybody's heart. Okay, what the heck, you guys? I love this person. So not only are they emotionally intelligent, financially stable, and they wanna take care of you and celebrate you, but also they wanna celebrate your body, babe, okay? They're trying to have some passion, some fire, some sparks, okay? Okay, see, here we go. Here we go with that whole energy again. The jealous and possessive. This is what I was talking about, you guys, with the seven of wands. Um, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, work on it, right? That's something that can be worked on. If it's a deal breaker for you, I feel like that is a situation or that is an energy. It can definitely be worked through in a relationship. If you enjoy that energy, then you enjoy it. If you don't, then you don't. Um, but everyone's flawed, so that's a situation. Um, we also have, I think, the world of you. So, person number three is just perfect, okay? I think the world of you. This person thinks very highly of you guys. Perhaps this jealous and possessive energy is more so of just them being protective of you because they think the world of you, because they think so highly of you. Maybe they feel like they want to protect you from the outside world or they want to protect you from certain negative experiences or certain people. Love that. The next one we have here is worth the wait. Oh, worth the wait, you guys. And it says, I do not think it worthwhile to wait for enjoyment until there is a real opportunity for it. So basically what this is saying is like, I'm not gonna wait to go to McDonald's. Why would I wait around for that? But I will wait around to go to Nobu. I will wait around to go get me a nice sushi dinner, okay? A nice Japanese at dinner, okay? I will wait around for that, right? But I'm not gonna wait around to go to freaking McDonald's. Why would I wait for that? So basically what we're saying is we're not gonna wait around for low value things, but this person sees you as high value so they feel like you are worth waiting for, so. Love that, love that for you guys. They see you as someone who's worth the wait. I feel like this person's going to be very patient with you. We also have freedom. Okay, so I love this, you guys, because we do have that jealous and possessive energy here. So perhaps it is, again, like they are just protective of you, but we do also have this freedom and it says, I am no bird, no net ensnares me. So this person not only is protective of you, but they are also someone who wants you to be free. They want you to do your own thing. They want to support you. They don't want to put you in a cage. They don't want to hold you back. They want you to go out and do your thing. They want to be able to support you. I feel like that jealous and possessive energy is more so just talking about being very protective and making wanting to make sure that you're safe, right? So we also have a Jupiter and it says opportunity and ambition. This is the plant of expansion. So it's very possible that this person dreams about expanding life with you or expanding the relationship with you. Um, that's connected to Sagittarius energy. We also have Venus here. This is love and possess uh, possessions or possessive, love and possessive. So with this card, you guys, Venus is a planet of love, beauty, money, luxury, abundance, okay? So basically with this card, you guys, this is telling me there's a lot of love in this relationship. There's a lot of passion and also it's connected to luxury and abundance. So I do feel like this is a relationship where this person, if they are not making a lot of money, this person is going to give you what they can. This person is going to try. This is not a selfish person by any means, you guys. This is definitely someone where they want to work hard so that they can give you what it is that they have. They want to give you their all um 
this person's very passionate. This person's not like a shallow person. This person's not someone who wants just like a lukewarm romance. This person wants something that is hot and fiery and passionate and steamy. You know, they're not looking for anything lukewarm, warm. <laughs> We have I can fly. So this is talking about freedom again, you guys. This person wants you to be free. They're going to treat you with a lot of trust. They're going to trust you to like fly. They're gonna trust you to go out there and do your own thing. Even though there is that protective energy around the relationship still, they're going to trust you to go out there and do your thing. We have passion again, you guys. So there's a lot of passion in this relationship. Um, the physical intimacy may be a rather significant part of this relationship. You guys may be very compatible in that department, okay? I look for you everywhere. So whenever this card pops up, this makes me feel like I go to the grocery store and I pick out your favorite candy because I was just thinking of you. Or when I, um, when I see you after work, like I bring you home flowers just because I wanted to make your day a little bit better. I feel like this is uh, talking about somebody who's constantly considering their partner, someone who is constantly thinking of what it, what would make their partner happy, what would bring a smile on their partner's face, right? I can't stop thinking about you. I can't stop thinking about you. That's so cute. So perhaps this person is someone where they just get completely and totally engulfed in the memory of you, the thought of you, the idea of you, okay? I do, again, feel like this person is someone who's very passionate and very much into the lust of it all, into the romance of it all. This person, I feel like, is someone, it gives me very, like, Scorpio energy of, like, I just want to freaking have your soul. Like, it feels like a soul-sucking, but not in a bad way, but in that just like consume, like I want to consume your soul type of energy. I want to like devour you. That's what this person feels like. This person's going to treat you like they want to devour you. And I'm not trying to scare anybody or sound like super intense, but this person is someone who's really intense and they're going to treat you and the relationship very intensely. Okay. Okay. Codependency. This makes sense. Um, it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. So codependency may be an issue in this relationship, you guys. This person may come off very needy or this person may come off very much like I, again, maybe a little bit insecure or maybe a little bit like, oh, I, I need to be around you. I need to be with you. Um, this is something that, again, can be worked through. If you want to make a relationship work, it can be worked through. Now, codependency could also be talking about other addictions, gambling addictions, alcohol, other substances um, or to things. So keep that in mind, you guys. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not here to judge anybody. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from a bowl for you guys really quick. Can I get a card? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we have holiday. Going back to that four of wands, you guys, this person is someone who wants to have fun in the relationship. They want to celebrate the relationship, okay? Holiday could also be when you guys meet. We have a medium skin tone, which I know that is a poor excuse for medium, but crayons, okay? We have casually dressed. This person may appreciate that you guys dress casually if you are someone who tends to dress more casual. We have small eyes, perhaps you have small eyes or they have small eyes. We have September, this could be your birthday or their birthday, perhaps the month you guys meet. We have creative, maybe this person really appreciates the creative side of yourself. We have piercings, I don't know if you guys have a significant piercing, but if you do, they may really like it. We have older, which makes sense, you guys, because we do also have that King of Cups. And the King of Cups is always depicted as somebody who's older because in order for um, the King to have emotional maturity, he has to go through some some stuff in life, right? He has to go through some years. Um, we have humble as well. So perhaps this person really loves how humble you are. We have lust, which does that freaking surprise you because it doesn't surprise me whatsoever. We have not yet. We have nighttime, which in the dark of the night, passion, okay. We have young, so you may be younger than this person. There may be a little bit of an age difference between the two of you. Um, it could be even be vice versa. We have 29. I don't know if you are 29 or if they are 29, but 29. Maybe that's your birthday or their birthday. We have a dark passion. 
which again, it's just freaky deaky, okay? It's just maybe some, you know what? We're not gonna get into it. Anyways, um, long, I don't know if you have long hair. Maybe there's something else in the situation that's long. Letting go. Maybe this is talking about this person needing to let go of the jealousy or the codependency issues. We have imperfections, which isn't that perfect that that followed up the letting go. Um, and we have no. Show no. So <laughs> group number three, that's what I have for you guys. Please let me know below how this has resonated with you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye. Hello, group number four. Scorpio and Taurus. Hello, Scorpio. Hello, Taurus. Taurus and Scorpio again. How do you? Sister signs. Scorpio and Gemini. Okay. Hello, Scorpio and Gemini. Cancer and Taurus. Okay. I love that so much. A lot of Scorpio, a lot of Taurus, a little bit of Gemini, and a little bit of Cancer. So let's get it going, you guys. The first card we have is the Anchor, aka my favorite gentleman in the deck, the Emperor. Okay, so with this card, you guys, this is signifying somebody who is a leader, somebody who is in charge, somebody who is strong and like mm, I'm going to take charge I'm not going to be like oh I don't know like this person always knows this person always knows what to do okay if you need a plan you go to the emperor if you don't know what to do you go to the emperor he will figure it out okay I, I will take care of it that is who the emperor is okay you guys so what I'm getting is how this person is going to treat you this person is going to treat you as somebody or this person is going to treat you um, very much like I can take care of it. Like I got it. Don't worry about it. I have a plan. I feel like this person is going to be someone who plans the dates for you guys. I feel like this person is going to be somebody who takes charge. Okay. Because that's who the emperor is. He takes charge. Um, sometimes it could be a little bit overbearing when he is not in a good position. However, he did come upright in this particular reading. So I do feel very confident in saying that the emperor in this particular situation is going to be very sure of himself and very much in his power where he's not overbearing and he's not controlling. He's just a leader. Okay. That's who the emperor is. Strong. Male or female. And we have the chariot. Okay. Now I love this card. This is connected to cancer energy. So cancer, you are popping up here again. This is signifying you guys that there is an energy of like, we can push through anything. We will get through anything because the chariot, you guys, is determination and willpower. Okay. The chariot is very much like if there is a will, there is a way I will find a way. The chariot cannot be stopped. So with this card, you guys, this signifies for me that this person is going to treat this relationship as a relationship they take very, very seriously and very much so like I will go to the ends of the earth to figure out how how to make this work. I will go to the ends of the earth to figure out what it is that we can do to accomplish what it is we need to accomplish. If there is a disagreement or an argument or a fight, like I feel like this person is going to fight for the relationship. This person is going to be somebody who puts in as much effort as they possibly can. This is not by any means, you guys, a weak person emotionally, physically, mentally. And I'm not judging those who are because I know for me, like I and very emotional okay i will okay i can handle a lot but i'll i will cry at the drop of a hat so this person is someone who can handle a lot and i feel like they do it in a way that's very composed okay we have the ace of wands the ace of wands baby so the ace of wands signifies like i want to grow with you i want to develop something with you this is also something that is fresh and new um this also can signify like wanting to have a child because the ace of wands is a wand. If you guys are getting my vibe, it is a wand. It is a wand, okay? A, a wand that you hold in the hand and it's a wand, okay? So that could signify like I want to have babies with you because obviously when you use a wand, sometimes that could lead to pregnancy. Okay, now this could also be talking about wanting to like have a house, like wanting to build a house or wanting to get a house with you or move in with you and just build a life. Okay, if you're not trying to have babies, 
the whole point of this is I'm trying to build a life with you, a new life with you. I want to have this fresh start with you. Okay. That's what this is signifying. So anyways, um, the next card we have here is actually an Oracle card from the same creators of this tarot deck. As you guys can see here, there's like hands and they're like, Oh, here's a heart. So I do feel like this person is kind of saying like, I want to give you my heart. I want to give you my love, you know? We also have the Ten of Coins. So what I was saying with the Ace of Wands, you guys, like I want to start something new with you and I want to build a life with you. The Ten of, of Coins signifies a long-term investment. This person, this emperor sees you as a long-term investment. Again, whether you are male or female or interested in women or men or both or whatever, this is signifying like I see this as a long-term investment. I see this relationship as a long-term investment, okay? As something that has potential to grow in the future, as something that has potential to be something more than it is right now, okay? So, I'm excited for you guys in group <laughs> number four. We also have balance here. Oh, that's very cute. We have balance here and it says, love is not always about agreeing for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay. I love this, you guys, because we also do have the chariot here. So there's balance in this relationship. There's going to be some freaking difficulties in this relationship. There's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. There's going to be a roller coaster of events taking place in this relationship. There may be times where you can't stand your partner. There may be, there may be times where they can't stand you, okay? But this is a very balanced relationship. Fight hard, love hard, right? It's balanced. It's not going to be a relationship where it's all bad or the majority of it's bad or the majority of it. It's going to be very much like you take the good with the bad, right? So this person isn't going to be afraid to challenge you guys. And I feel like you guys are also not going to be afraid to challenge this person. And that is what to me a real authentic relationship is. I'm not someone where I personally can be in a relationship where my partner's not willing to challenge me or my partner's not willing to push me because that's not ultimately going to help me in the end. That's not ultimately going to help me evolve and grow. I need to be with people around people in general who are going to push me and who are going to challenge the way that I think, the way that I see the world because that's the only way that we can grow you guys is if our viewpoints are constantly challenged so with this i do feel like this relationship is going to be a relationship that does involve a lot of evolution a lot of um change and growth okay on both for both parties <sighs> love hard fight hard I want to work things out, which is again, talking about the whole situation with the chariot. This person is going to be willing to work things out. I feel like this person is always going to be up to talk about whatever issues you guys have. There's an open format in this relationship where you guys are going to have open communication with each other and you're able to talk things out. You're able to say 100% how it is that you feel and you're not going to be shamed for it. You're not going to be told, oh, Whatever. Your feelings aren't going to be, to be be dismissed. How you feel is important to this person and they're going to take how you feel and what you say very seriously. Okay. Um, I have adult fantasies about you. Okay, so this person is a little freaky deaky. You know, we do have that emperor here. bless y'all okay so happy for you we have attraction here and it says beauty is in the eye of the gazer and i completely when i say that i like i know i can say this on camera and i know people are not going to believe me and it honestly doesn't matter because anybody who knows me in real life knows that i am someone where i care so much more about the contents of somebody's soul than i do their physical appearance like i could give a less damn about how somebody physically looks i care about who it is that you are and that's what this is really saying like beauty is in the eye of the gazer someone is so much more beautiful when they have a beautiful heart someone is so much more beautiful when they have a beautiful soul you guys so with this this is really saying like you're always beautiful to me i'm finding you attractive not because of your physical body but because of who it is that you are okay so i love that we have marriage here okay and this says i ask you to pass through life at my side to be my second self 
and best and best earthly companion. We love Jane Austen here. Okay. Um, so this person, this relationship, you guys may lead to marriage. This person may treat you as a wife or as a husband or as a partner that is going to go through life with you forever. Um, I love this. I love this. Um, I don't know what else to say besides like, I feel like this person is taking this relationship very seriously. We have the seventh house of relationships and partnerships. This is profound relationships, you guys. This is the house of love. This is represented by Libra energy as well. So marriage is perhaps on the horizon or perhaps on this person's mind. We have Saturn here as well. This is milestones and structure. This doesn't surprise me that this is here because this person is very structured and this relationship does feel very mature. Saturn does give me mature vibes it's connected to Capricorn and Aquarius as well. So with this card, you guys, again, this relationship will not be without its hard times. And I know not all of you want to hear that, um, but this is an adult relationship. This is a relationship that I feel like, I mean, especially since marriage popped up here, marriage does involve work. Like marriage does involve like trying and putting an effort and things aren't always going to be sunshines and rainbows this is a serious relationship that requires effort okay i like this because to me to me if something comes easily i don't want it and i know that's bad to say but i'm someone where i really like to work really hard for the things that i have and if it comes easily then i'm going to appreciate it less and that's just me personally maybe that's something i need to work through but saturn comes in and says, you're going to have to work really hard for this. It's going to be worth it. If you can work through this, it will be worth it. However, I'm going to make you work for it. So yeah, I love that. But like, that's just me. Anyways, um, I feel whole with you. So again, going back to that, my second half, this person may feel like they or you are their second half. They may treat you as if you are their second half. We have talked to me. Communication is very important to this person, you guys. Um, don't shut them out when you're mad at them. I feel like that's something that's very important because this person's always going to want to sit and talk things out. This person's going to want to sit and have communication with you because they love you and they care about you and they don't want to leave things unresolved. You make me feel... <laughs> You make me feel things. So yeah, you may make this person feel things that other people have not made them feel before. You may have extended this person's emotional depths. You may have extended the abilities or the, yeah, the depths that this person's able to go on an emotional level or on a romantic level. This person may do things for you that they have not done for their past partners, okay? We have, I want to tell you how I feel. This person is very talkative, you guys. This person is very, very communicative. Communication is very much a part of their love language. <laughs> Communication is very much a part of this person's love language and how it is that they, um, I feel like receive love, but also express love. Like the verbal uh, affirmations or the verbal like, oh, you're doing really good or oh, I love you so much is important to this person. And I feel like they give that to you because that's what they want in return with their love language. Does that make sense, you guys? We also have, I wish I had treated you better. Okay, so this person I feel like is someone where perhaps they feel like they aren't good enough or perhaps they feel like oh I need to do more for my wife or I need to do more for my husband I need to do more for my girlfriend I need to do more for my boyfriend um this person doesn't want to lose you guys so I feel like there's almost this sense of like maybe getting to a point where they get comfortable in the relationship and then something happening and then feeling guilty about not treating you the best that they could so again work for it. There is always complications in relationships that we can work through. The next one we have here is true love. And it says, this is a romance of a lifetime. I love this image. I don't know why, but like this particular image for me in this deck just makes me feel things. I adore it. So this love may be a love of a lifetime, you guys. And we also, <laughs> we also have expressed your love and it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. If you guys want to know how to romance this person or how to make this person feel special, I feel like you need to write them a beautiful love letter or I feel like you need to give them those words of affirmation 
because that's going to go a long way for them. This person is going to give that to you again because that is their love language and that is how they express their love is through their words. So they're always going to be telling you, I love you, I appreciate you, I this, I that, like you're so beautiful, you're this, you're that. Like they're going to tell you verbal communication is very important to this person, okay? So I'm going to go ahead, you guys, and pull for my bowl and see if we can get any more information about this person or how they feel about you. I see soulmate. Okay, group number four. So all the notes, we have a diamond shaped face. This could be you or them. I'm going over the physical attributes first. We have melanin deep and we also have light skin. Okay. We have well dressed. We have ethnic hairstyles. We have a standout smile. We have a slim and build, but we also have curvy slash thick. Okay. We have stunning. We have handsome. We have a baby face. We have green eyes. And then we have morning and morning could be signifying like a very special time for you guys. Maybe you guys like to have your morning tea together or your morning coffee or your morning, just, you know, starting your mornings out together, spending that time waking up together, maybe watching the sunrise. We have outgoing. So perhaps this person really loves that you guys are outgoing. Perhaps this person is someone who's really outgoing. We have mom slash dad. So I don't know if you guys will be parents together. I did talk about that with the ace of wands. We have workaholic. This could be this person or you. We have a nerdy. We have nerdy, which I love. We have 26, which could be the um, the age that you guys meet. Maybe when you're 26, maybe when they're 26. Could be on the 26th. Maybe this is your birthday or their birthday. We also have soulmate. Okay, soulmate. So that's what I have for you guys. Group number four. Let me know below if you guys are excited. Let me know how you feel about this. I'm excited for you guys. I adore this person. This person and person number three, Perfect. Perfect. You in group three got it. Okay. So thank you group four. Love you. Let me know below. I appreciate you and I will see you guys really, really soon. Okay. Bye.